Mother Jashoda was very successful in taking back Krishna and Balaram back to the palace. And then she, you know, gave them a beautiful bath and then she decorated them with amazing clothing, you know, beautiful silk garments, uh, yellow garments for Krishna, blue garments for Balaram. And she, you know, tied Krishna's head in a beautiful top knot. And then she put pearls around the, the hair. And then there were pearls hanging down also. She put a beautiful peacock feather. She put nice pearl jewelry, you know, like a choker, you know, beautiful blue color sapphires, necklaces and pearl necklaces. She put, you know, little champaka and, you know, um, parijat flowers around Krishna's hair. And then she just, you know, with some chandan, and uh, Aguru, she made a beautiful scent, you know, fragrant sandalwood pulp. And with that, she, you know, decorated Krishna's, you know, black moon like face. And Krishna's lips were anyway so red, you know, like the bimba fruit, like we all know. And then Krishna's armlets and bracelets and little rings in his tiny little fingers. Krishna was just four years old. It's beautiful. And then he had beautiful ankle belts around his tiny little lotus feet. You know, and Krishna's dhoti that he was wearing, it was only up to his knees, from his waist till his knees. So his beautiful calf muscles were seen. And he was wearing wonderful ankle belts, little toe rings, you know, just tiny little toe rings he was wearing. And Krishna's reddish lotus feet was so beautiful, so enchanting. And on Krishna's waist, Mother Jashoda put very beautiful waistband. And that waistband was so beautiful. It was a combination of pearls and white parijat flowers. Very beautifully made, elegant, elegant made. And the white pearls, they were all shaped very beautifully. Some were shaped like conch. Some were shaped like, you know, beautiful lotuses. Some were like in a shark shaped um, you know, form. So like this, the waist belt was very, very beautiful. And it had loops of pearls that were going around and the hangings of Parijat flowers that were around Krishna's waist. So beautiful. And Krishna's lotus eyes, Mother Jashoda took kajal and she put black mascara on Krishna's eyes and behind his ear so that he is warded off from all evil eye. And then Krishna was brought in front of Nanda Maharaj and all the three, that is Balaram, Krishna and Nanda Baba, they enjoyed the sumptuous uh, prasad that Mother Jashoda served. And then after eating, Nanda Baba said, Kanha, today is your birthday, today is your appearance day. So we are going to have some very beautiful way of celebrating your birthday. So Nanda Baba assembled all the Brahmanas in Braj and they started giving out decorated cows in charity. Krishna was giving each Brahmana one, one decorated cow. And decorated cow means they were decorated with gold bracelets, I mean, gold ankle bells, you know, in all four legs of the cows. The cows were wearing very beautiful, you know, gold jewelry around their neck. So, they, you know, they had, you know, beautiful handprints all around their body. They were very nicely decorated. So Nanda Baba was making Krishna donate and give in charity and give gifts to the brahmanas of these decorated cows. Generally, nowadays, our birthdays, how do we celebrate? We celebrate by throwing out a huge party. And then we expect that everyone who comes has to come with a big gift for us. And then we are very happy. But Nanda Baba and Jashoda Maya, how did they celebrate Krishna's birthday? How did Krishna celebrate his birthday? By giving in charity to his dear devotees and he was giving in charity his dear devotee only cow is the dearest one to krishna and he was giving them in charity to his great devotees that is why krishna's beautiful pranam mantra is namo brahmanya devaya go brahmana hitaya cha he is the well-wisher of the cows and the brahmanas go brahmana hitaya cha Jagadhitaya Shri Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namaha.
So this is Govinda, the one who is giving pleasure to the cows and to the brahmanas. That is how gloriously devotees are so dear to Krishna. And this is the way that Krishna celebrates his appearance day. This is the glory of Mother Jashoda and Nanda Baba. So when we have our birthdays, at least we can try to give something in charity to the Vaishnavas, at least trying to you know, follow in the footsteps of Nanda Baba and Jashoda Maya. However, <clears throat>